Hi everybody, welcome back. So I've got my makeup inventory check-in video and I like to put these up every quarter just for me to sort of see how my makeup collection is looking. Are there some categories that are looking a little bit big? Are there categories that I need to work on? And I have also set myself like little targets, little goals as to how I want each category of makeup to look as well. So I'll compare the figures with those goals and how those figures look in comparison to my previous quarterly check-ins as well. So I have my laptop here in front of me with my makeup inventory spreadsheet. So we will get started with the base products. So starting off with primer then, I did have a goal of three. I do just want to say that for some of these goals, these now aren't the goals that I would set myself. At the start of the year I had a goal of three because I wanted to have a few in my collection to give me some sort of variation. But now, for a lot of my categories of makeup, I'm happy with just having one. So I would actually change this goal down to one, but I'm just going to stick with the goals that I set myself at the start of the year. So anyway, I had a goal of three, started off the year on one, had two at the previous check-in and I'm now back down to one and that's because I used up the NYX Plump Right Back Primer and the primer that I currently have is my Vive Skin Nova which is in my project pan and I should be done with that one in the next month or two. Foundation I had a goal of four and I had four at the previous two check-ins but I am now up to six. I did buy the Boring CC Cream and also the Hydra Tint by Sculpted by Amy and that's because I just really don't like wearing foundation anymore. I don't feel like I need coverage all over my face and although the foundations I own are like a light to medium coverage it still just feels like too much on my skin so I bought a couple of lighter weight bases and I really enjoy them. If you saw my, what was it, my reviewing planning to pan 2023 video, you'd have seen in that that there are actually four foundations that I need to start working on because they're coming close to their expiry date. And I do have two of them in my project pan, the Eastern the One Touche Foundation and also the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk, which is what I have on today. So I am working on panning those four foundations that are going to start to go out of date soon, but I'm only working on two at the moment so should hopefully be down to four by the end of the year I reckon I can use up two foundations I hope and be working on the other two as well but I definitely don't want my foundation category to be as big as it currently is. Next is concealer I've had a really nice decline had a goal of three started off the year on three had two at the previous check-in now at one and that is my Vive Modern Radiance Modern Perfector hang on Vive Modern Radiance Concealer, my one and only concealer that I own, I have it on today. It's a very lovely mousse-like concealer, really easy to blend, nice and hydrating, so very happy with that one and this is also a category that I'm now happy just having one. I don't need to have multiple concealers because it just takes an absolute age to use them up as well. Colour Corrector hasn't changed, I had a goal of one and I've had one throughout the entire year so far and it's my Bobbi Brown Under Eye Stick Corrector which I've got on today as well and I basically use that every single time I wear makeup. Powder has changed and this is a category that has kind of stayed the same for quite some time. So I had a goal of three and I had three at the previous two check-ins but I'm now down to two and that's because I finished up my Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder and that has taken me ages years to entirely use up because it's about 29 grams I think so you get a good amount of product and powder I find really hard to use up so very happy that I have gotten that one used up and I am now working on the Fenty one as part of my project pan so hoping to be down to one by the end of the year. Bronzer has changed, had a goal of two and had two at the start of the year, had three at the previous check-in but I'm back down to two because I used up my Fenty powder bronzer as part of my project pan and that has been another product that's taken me years, not years, oh actually a little bit, ages to use up. It was in my project pan for all of this year so far obviously and all of last year so it's taken me 18 months worth of panning to entirely use up so very happy I've used up a bronzer and I now just have two to be working on. I've got a cream and a powder. Blusher has changed. Blush has gone up. So it had a goal of five, had a six at the start of the year, had seven at the previous check-in and that's because I bought the Rare Beauty 
Stay Vulnerable Melting Blush in the shade Nearly Apricot. And I'm up to seven now because I have made a little blusher. I put this on my Instagram story, I think. I had two lipsticks that I did particularly like. So I merged them into a blusher, which is this here. This is the Vive lipsticks in Coming In Ho and Power Suit. I ideally would have put a little bit of face oil in it perhaps because it is a bit of a stiffer texture although when you start blending it out on your cheeks it works absolutely fine so I'm down to lipsticks but have gained a blusher highlighter has stayed the same had a goal of one had three at the start of the year and had one at the previous check-in and this check-in and it's my Vive Skin Dew in the XL version that I am trying to pan have it on today and I did actually because I got my shoulders out put a bit on my shoulders as well so if I can start to use it as like a body product as well I'm hoping to use this one up by the end of the year but it's quite a big tube so it will take a real like focused <laughs> effort to entirely use up but I'm at my goal with that one face palettes have stayed the same had a goal of one and I've had one throughout this entire year so far it's my V face palette in the shade dawn love that palette beautiful palette face and eye palettes these have changed i had two both by laura geller i had two at the start of the year two at the previous check-in but i'm now down to zero i worked on all four eyeshadows within each palette to see if i liked them all one palette was more kind of like cool toned i knew i didn't like the blusher knew i didn't like the highlighter in it and i did actually end up decluttering that entire palette including the four eyeshadows in it and then with the other palette, I've dismantled it. I've put the four eyeshadows in a like a Z palette. And then the blush and highlighter I got rid of because they were just too intense. So I don't have the face and eye palettes now, but I have the four eyeshadows from within one of the palettes. But they now come under my single eyeshadow category. So face and eye palettes, I'm now down to zero eyeshadow primers have stayed the same since the previous check-in i started off the year on two i had one at the previous check-in and i've got one now one is also my gold and it's the mac paint pot but i haven't used it in a while because i'm using an eye wand as my eyeshadow primer so that's kind of my focus at the moment glitter primers have stayed the same had a gold one had one throughout the whole year it's the nyx glitter primer not a product i use that often but when i do use it underneath shimmery glittery eyeshadows it just makes them pop so much more it's a lot more intense so it's a great product for that eyeshadow singles have changed i had a goal of 12 i'm actually below that goal i started off the year on 13 was down to 11 at the previous check-in and i'm now down to 10 and the one that i've used up since the previous check-in was the mac single eyeshadow in the shade shroom i was panning it for all of last year took it out of my project pan at the start of this year because i wanted a bit of a break but there wasn't much product left in it so i put it back in as like a little bit of an easy win and i've i've now entirely used that one up so i now have 10 single eyeshadows four of which come from the laura geller face palette i've got one two three four from mac one from makeup geek and one from lisa eldridge eyeshadow duos have stayed the same goal of one and had one throughout the whole year it's my nars duo in isold one of the shades I'm focusing on as part of my Pan in Every Eyeshadow Palette Challenge. I have it on today all over the lid. It's the darker of the two shades. Beautiful little duo. Love that duo. Eyeshadow palettes have changed. Had a goal of seven and had seven at the start of the year in the previous check-in. But I'm now down to five. So I have been trying to use lots of different eyeshadows in my collection as part of my pan in every eyeshadow palette challenge and i figured out that i don't particularly like norvina from abh because it's very pink very purple and too many cool tones for my liking so what i did i kept five shades in the palette that i liked and i removed five shades from the modern renaissance palette that i didn't like I didn't intentionally focus on five, but it just so happened that there were five from Norvina I liked and five from Modern Renaissance that I didn't like, so it worked out fine. So I basically swapped those five shades around. So it meant that the shades in Norvina were shades that I didn't like, I wouldn't wear, were too cool toned for me. So I decluttered that and passed that on to my boyfriend's sister. So that meant that I was down to six palettes. And in my last video, which was my Pan in Every Eyeshadow Palette update video, I made the decision to declutter the Vive Muse palette, which makes me a bit sad 
because it is it's such a beautiful palette great quality lovely colors beautiful palette but they're just colors i don't wear i don't wear pinks i don't wear purples despite the fact that they're warm toned they're just not shades that i kind of reach for and it just made sense because it's a palette that i've struggled to to use my numbers for it as part of my pan in every eyeshadow palette challenge are always re really low so I'm going to give that to my boyfriend's sister as well and hoping that she will get a lot more use out of it because she loves to wear pink and purples as part of her makeup look. So that means that I'm now down to five. I've got my Urban Decay Naked Heat and I'm working on using up the four shades in that palette that I like. Once I've done that, I'll declutter that palette. And then I've got my favourite palette, my Viva Sensuals palette. And then I've got my ABH Modern Renaissance that contains five Norvina shades. And then I've got the Wet n Wild My Glamour Squad and the Revolution Reloaded Hypnotic. And in those two palettes, I've scraped out the shades that I don't like. So I think I now just have six shades within each palette. So the number of eyeshadows in my makeup inventory is a lot smaller now, which is much better. I really feel like all of the eyeshadows that I now own, I like. And they're all like brown as well. Okay, moving on to eyeshadow sticks. Have a goal of one. Started off the year on three, had two at the previous check-in and I still have two. I was panning both of them. I've now moved one out of my project pan for the for the time being because I'm focusing on a similar product. So I am panning one of them. But these two eyeshadow sticks, they take ages. They're a really creamy formula. So you would think that you could get through them quite quickly, but no, my progress every month is like really, really small. So yeah gonna take me a while hoping to be done with them by the end of the year though so I'm hoping this number will actually come down to zero my loose eyeshadow pigments have stayed the same I've had three have a goal of three these are all by peaches and cream I am considering decluttering one though I, I probably shouldn't have bought it but I bought it at a three for two offer so it just made sense to add that extra product in however I've not opened it and I think it might be too dark for me. So I think I might declutter that one at some point. But the other two in the shade Peach and Gatsby are really light, warm colours. And these over the top of an eyeshadow, or actually just even on their own, they're, they're stunning. They're so gorgeous. But they're not products that I use that often. But I, I don't want to declutter the other two because when I wear them, they're just, oh, they're just so beautiful. And really easy to use as well, which I wouldn't have expected with a loose pigment eyeliners stayed the same since the previous check-in had five at the start of the year three in the previous check-in three now goal of three got a brown got a green and a nude my liquid eyeliners have stayed the same all year i've had the same one had a goal of one and it's my ico coco edit brown liquid liner have it on today just a tiny little bit i am panning that though but it's taken me ages whether or not I've finished this up by the end of the year, I will be getting rid of it by the end of the year because it's like a year out of date. And although my eyes are fine, I've had no reaction and the product still performs fine, I don't think I would be comfortable still using this next year. But I would like to actually finish using it up by the end of this year, but if not, I will just declutter it. Mascara, this isn't a category I'm worried about. I'm really strict with mascara. If it says use it for six months, I will use it for six months to the date and then get rid. So I have a goal of two. I had three at the start of the year, had two last time, two this time, but one of them goes out of date next week. So once that date comes, I'll get rid of that one. And then that means that I've just got one. And this is also another category where I'm happy with just having one. I don't need multiple mascaras open I like to just have one open and use that one for however long it says to use that particular mascara for eyebrows not much change had a goal of one had three at the start of the year two at the previous check-in still got two my clear brow gel from NYX and my Kiko brow pencil the brow pencil is in my project pan probably got about two or three months worth left of that one and probably the same for the the brow gel but it's always a little bit tricky to to guess how much you have left on a brow gel because I can't see through the tube so there's no telling just how much product is left but this is another one that I'm not bothered about because I wear eyebrow products every time I wear makeup got it on today but the goal is to get down to one and that's how I can have a tinted brow gel okay last set of categories these are lip products first up is lip balm I currently have two 
and I've had two all year, my goal is two. One of them I am trying to use up, I've actually cut the tube open because it was in a little squeezy tube and I've put it into kind of like a, a little container like this and I've got loads of it left <laughs> but I wear it every single day so no problems in terms of me, me using it regularly. And then once I've used that one up, I've got like a makeup lip balm. I wasn't sure where to put this product, but the other lip balm I've got is the e.l.f. Hydrating Core Lip Shine in the shade Cheery, which is like an orange shade. Right, next, lip liners. Lip liners has gone down very, very close to my goal. I've got a goal of five. Started off the year on ten, was down to eight at the last check-in. I'm now down to six. And I've used up two since that previous check-in. So I've used up the Vive Velvet Sands lip liner and also NYX Peekaboo Neutral. So I will have no problems getting down to my, my goal. I have one lip liner in my current project pan, which is the NYX Global Citizen, which I'm getting through really, really quickly. It's a very creamy formulation and I'm using it as like a cream bronzer, which I've got on today. I don't draw it on my face because it's a bit of a nuisance to, to blend out, it, it flakes which is really annoying. So I just draw it on the back of my hand, get my brush in it, rub it in and I need to sharpen that pencil every single day. So getting through that really really quickly, two months and I'll be done with that one so I will be down to my goal by the next check in and I'll be really happy with how my lip liners look then. My lip liners will look perfect, all the colours that I need. Okay. Hmm one that's gone up. It's always lipstick. Lipstick is my my bit of makeup that I just can't seem to resist. Love lipstick. Had a goal of 14. Had 13 at the start of the year, 13 at the previous check-in, but I'm now up to 16. So I did say that I kind of, not decluttered because I technically still have them, but I combined two lipsticks into this cream blusher. I have also this month, well actually June, bought four lipsticks. I just can't seem to help myself. I, I love lipsticks. I had a comment on one of my videos about Lisa Eldridge lipsticks and that, that person very kindly gave me some shade suggestions, which I immediately went away and had a little look at swatches and I bought two. I have been wanting to try Lisa Eldridge lip, lipstick though ever since she started making them but for some reason or another I've kind of resisted so I bought one that I had my eye on which is Velvet Dragon and then another one in the shade Je Ne Sais Quoi and they are here beautiful luxe looking gold packaging it's got her logo on the lid although I'm not sure you can see it this one is the shade Je Ne Sais Quoi and this is a really beautiful pinky coral but it kind of lifts my complexion and it's fairly warm as well it's a beautiful shade and then the next one is one of the the true velvet ones i think they're called this is velvet dragon a more matte formulation oh this is my kind of color that beautiful orange red beautiful lipstick so thank you for your suggestion i'm so easily swayed when it comes to lipsticks so i bought those two and then I don't technically have them on me. They're due to be delivered on Tuesday, I think, and I'm filming this on a Saturday. I bought two Merit lipsticks, both reds. I'm, I'm loving red lipstick at the moment. I, don't, I clearly don't have any on today, but I'm really enjoying wearing a red lipstick. And I bought two reds, one in the shade Carbo, which is an orange-based red, but I don't think it's going to be as intense or as matte as this. And then Aperitif, which is another red, but it's like a universal red. It's not warm, it's not cool. It's a really wearable red that's meant to suit everybody. And apparently these lipsticks aren't as like intense as, say, the Lisa Eldridge ones. They're the lipsticks that apparently don't try too hard. I think they've got a creamier formulation. And I've been wanting to try Merit lipstick for a while. So I bought those. <laughs> so I'm up to 16. So... Right, lip glosses. <laughs> I had a goal of two. Started off the year on three, went up to eight, and I'm now down to seven. 
So although I've said for a lot of my categories I'm happy just having one, lip products is where I like to have a lot. I like to have some choice, a lot of variation, and lip glosses is also one of those categories. So since the previous check-in I've used up two lip glosses actually, both by Kiko. One in like a shimmery, sparkly coral, and another in a warm neutral pink brown, so a really great nude shade. So I've used up those two, but I bought another House of Colour one in the shade Copper, so I now own all five suggested colours from House of Colour for Autumns. And the remaining lip glosses are a clear one from Kiko, and the one that I have on today is by Vive, and that's in the shade Pesca, and I'm panning that one. Lip glosses I find so easy to pan. Lip liners and lip glosses are just really easy products for me to pan. So we'll have no problems using like the Vive one. Might even be able to do that by the next check-in. So that this category might then be down to six. Penultimate category, liquid lipstick. Had one at the start of the year, one at the previous check-in, but I've now got two and my goal is two, both by House of Colour. One is a neutral everyday pinky brown and the one that I bought recently is kind of similar to the um, Lisa Eldridge lipstick. It's a orangey brown, Tuscan Sun, I think they call it. So it's like a terracotta shade. And then last category, setting spray. Had a goal of one, don't really need more than one setting spray, but I've had two all through this year. I'm using it on a really regular basis now. It's my, well, they both are Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This one I don't have much left of, so this one should be used up with by the next check-in, so I'll then be down to one. But I spray my face once I've done my cream products, and then once again when I've done my powder products. So I am using this a lot more frequently now. So in terms of like overall numbers, if we're going by my goal, bearing in mind that for a lot of my goal numbers I would now want them to be one, so one primer, one foundation, one concealer, but I'm going off the goals that I set myself at the start of the year. So if my makeup collection was exactly as my goals were for each of the categories, I would have 84 bits of makeup. At the start of the year, I had 99 pieces, 94 at the previous check-in, and I'm now down to 88. So hoping for this number to be a lot lower at the next check-in, that would be really good. So that is how my makeup inventory is looking. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I personally love watching makeup inventory videos on YouTube. I think they're probably one of my favourite videos to watch because I can just be nosy. I can just look at all the makeup that people have, look at their numbers, see how it compares to mine. So yeah, I really like that deep dive into people's makeup collections. So hope you did like this one. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you're tracking your inventory, please let me know how yours is looking as well. But thank you very much for watching and I will see you again very soon for my next one.